Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. Doing more Stardew Valley. And we did try something new yesterday where we had um, caution generator to just keep me talking and I think it went really well. Um, I was chatting up with Storm yesterday. So I think that'll be a good staple for more chill, um, like RPG type streams. So I think we're gonna keep doing that. I also have a different site because like yesterday there was a couple repeat questions so that kind of sucked but yeah let's go ahead and jump into it so i gotta fix my laptop sedge i just forget because like my laptop screen lines up perfectly with the bottom of my tv so, like i can't see some of the tools i don't adjust it properly okay let's just talk about the squiggly bits Oh, let's go check our weekly mission first. Yeah, so this is gonna be the final week of winter. We need to see what our weekly mission is gonna be before we decide what we gotta focus on for the week because we need to focus on getting more money because we have nothing. Or basically nothing. Because we need to make sure we get our house crop upgraded and then get some animals in our farms now that they're fully upgraded. So probably just focusing on... Probably fishing. Probably gonna be our best bet. Oh yeah! Perfect! Perfect! This mission is literally for fishing. Yeah, let's do it! Oh, we can get started on that right now. Perfect! That is- Oh! Oh, because we have the bait mission. I was like, why the fuck is he talking to me? <laughs> oh, you were thinking about me, huh? Yeah? Ooh, nice spot. I don't use the bobbers personally because, like, they. Damn, what you call it? They break too easy when compared to like how often I fish. I'm very much like I don't want to waste the resources. Okay. 
Okay, so let's get to fishing, guys. We can go ahead and do the first question of the day. So, what's something commonly done today that you think people will wonder why anyone would ever do that 50 years from now? I think... I think social media is going to be a very present thing in the near and far future. <clears throat> I think a really common thing that people will like cringe at, I would say, is like any of the like trends. Cause, like people are cringing at stuff that they did back in like 2015. Like stuff they'd post on like YouTube or IG and it's funny. <clears throat> I think it's also interesting how people go to, like, sometimes far links just to get, like, online clout, I guess. I don't know why my voice is fucking up right now. Oh, break. No! Like, I think it's funny to laugh at that. Or it'll be fun to laugh at that again. I think also an interesting thing within like the past five ten years is being able to like buy followers or like buy viewers like bot viewing that type of thing i'm surprised why that isn't like illegal or like illegal rather i know it's against terms of service for like some sites so like twitch you can't like be bought or whatever and it's cringe to do anyway like not to like Say that the metaverse is going to be real, but I think virtual reality is going to have such a big um, influence in future like consumption of entertainment. It kind of reminds me of like the humans in the movie Wall-E, how everyone's just on like little floating moped things, and they just get all their entertainment through their VR headsets. I think that's coming. It also kind of brings up the argument against like electric cars because there are still going to be like a handful of people who are still going to want to use traditional automotives. <clears throat> I know like I'm all for electric vehicles because just based on like the consumption of unrenewable energy it's not going to be sustainable for like even potentially one future generation from in terms of like living conditions because just based on global warming not gonna be good um i forgot where the point was <laughs> where i was going <laughs> um badge <laughs> let's just pull up another question okay what's the one thing you think you should be doing more often um exercising <laughs> Let's be real. Um, because like I'm trying to bike every day or every morning, but now that it's getting colder, it's gonna be a bit harder to do. Cause like I don't, I got gloves finally, so like I have no excuse to like not bike. But it's still kind of like scary to bike when it's like frosty or icy out. Because the last time I biked when there was like snow and ice, I, <laughs> cause like you know how the sidewalk dips for um. Uh, handicapped people so like there was like a big pool of water and had it like iced over and i thought i could make it and then on one corner like that i made it and i didn't slide and then the next one was like oh i'll be fine this time and then i slid into the road <laughs> thankfully it was like a busy road too but thankfully like the road is clear because like not many people are going to work that day but still it was scary thankfully the car approaching stopped and they were like they like leaned out the window they're like hey are you okay I'm like, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think... It's funny, because like, when I used to work, I used to bike to work, so I had like, a specific route I would take every day. And of all the three times I've crashed my bike, and crash, I mean like, fallen off, or like, slid, or skid, it's been in the same, like, mm -hmm. a thousand feet on that road. Within that same section of that specific road. <laughs> Oh yeah, so that's the only thing I'm worried about once it starts like snowing and shit. I'm worried about like not biking. And I could do like 
aerobics or cardio indoors like stretches and that stuff as well but it's not as fun as biking i definitely like feeling like the like the wind like the movement is really nice like i i could i have no space for an elliptical mind you like i don't think i could do an elliptical because like the immersion isn't there I've, and like the times i've gone in, in on an elliptical i was too short <laughs> the like pedaling was very difficult <laughs> So, like, the pedals were either, like, just outside of my reach or they were too long, so, like, I couldn't even use the machine. I assume there's ways to adjust the pedals, but I don't know how to do that, so I'm gonna call it quits, you know? Okay, let's get another question. At what age did you think you'd become an adult, and when do you actually think you did? Oof. Mega oof. I know legally, like, 18 you're an adult, and like, 21 you can drink. Like, I still feel... Not that I'm a kid, but I feel like I'm mature enough to, like, handle adult stuff, but like, I'm still at home, and still with my parents. And in that capacity, I don't feel... Like, I've matured. Like, I'm still really naive to a lot of, like, real-world stuff, but, like, I feel like I have a general knowledge of everything. But... I feel like I'll be fully, like, an adult once I move out. Which hopefully will be... achievable next year. I don't know. Because I was planning on moving out in spring of 2020. Because we were looking- me and my sister were looking at apartments. And... We had our, like, hearts set on one, but then, um, restrictions and lockdowns happened, so, like, it would not have been the best financial decision, because both of us were- our hours were cut, so, like, we not, would not have made it. We would have had to go back home, which would not be cool, you know? Because, like, I don't want to move out and then have to move back in. I do not want that to happen. Because low-key, I feel like that wouldn't be an option. So, I'd rather wait to move out to when I'm able to, like, go and not come back, I guess. Nice. The thing I don't like about, like modern work culture is that it's very clicky like it's just like school like the social dynamics that's why like i'm so anxious about going back to work like i'd rather be at a workplace where like i actually enjoy the job because a lot of times the people and the co-workers make your job in terms of like if it's bearable or like fun right because that's the thing i'm most concerned about because Oh, did I get the mission done already? Cool. Oh, I should have brought geodes so we could have broken them. Rip. Um. Because my mom, she works for the local school district and it's very clicky. Because the majority of the workforce is like middle aged women. So it's very clicky. And it's hard to, like, determine who's, like, actually gonna be a friend and then who's just being nice because you work together, you know? That's what I'm honestly really worried about. Yeah, let's get on question! What was your most recent experience of going down the rabbit hole? Okay, this is gonna be cringe, but this isn't, like, recent recent. But I think it had to be like two years ago. I fell down the rabbit hole of like YouTube conspiracy videos. And not that I believe any. It's just like really interesting to see. Because conspiracies are basically like people like making connections when connections potentially aren't really there, you know. And it's just like a lot of the like, theories are, like, fantasies. So it's basically, like, a sci-fi novel. 
any time you're like watching a conspiracy video. And they're fun to watch, but they're also dangerous because just like the YouTube algorithm, if you watch a video, it's going to feed you more of that type of video, right? So it's very easy to fall into that kind of like isolated mindset if you're only consuming those that type of content, right? So yes, like, they're fun to watch, they're entertaining, but like, don't let them actually consume your ideology. You don't believe them at surface level. Like, make sure whenever you're consuming any type of media, you're also consuming the other opposite opposing opinion as well. Okay. Let's get another question. What do you wish you had more talent doing? I wish I could dance. I really wish I could dance. Because, like, I think I'm fairly well-rounded. I'm kind of artsy. I can kind of sing. I think I'm kind of funny, but, like, I can't. Granted, I've never, like, tried try dancing, but, like, I wish I could. It's a confidence thing. Like, I wanted to take a salsa class, because I think that would be fun. And I have some, like, mobility, but... Like, <laughs> it's strange, but, like... I really like the dancing videos on TikTok. I love them. It's just so cool because it's one of like the few like trendy stuff where it requires some type of talent. Because like, I don't necessarily like the lip syncing stuff. I think that's kind of like mid or low tier content because like, it's, it's not transformative enough, right? Because anyone can really do that. But I really like the dancing shit. I, it's mainly because like I admire it because I can't do it myself. But... Yeah, I wish I could dance more. I have, like, one memory from, like, elementary school. My fifth grade teacher, we'd have... It was either every Friday or once a month on Fridays. During lunch period, she'd, like, take out her radio and then she'd play songs and then everyone would, like, dance and shit. No, it had to be once a month because it wasn't during lunch. It was, like, an hour of, like, free time. It had to be once a month, yeah. And I never danced because, like, I was so, like, anxious and scared to. I remember on, like, the last day of that party of the year, like, I did the Macarena with everyone else and I was, I was so scared. I feel like dancing because you have to have a lot of like control in terms of your body moves and i don't have like i have i have pretty like dexterous fingers like I'm, that's why like i'm fairly good at like crafting or sculpting because like i can manipulate my fingers fairly well but like everything else i'm kind of not good at <laughs> but loki was a big klutz when i was younger oh it's the same question again What's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? Um, I know, like, I don't go out, so, like, <laughs> going to the store is, like, a lot for me sometimes. But, I think the most spontaneous thing was, because I don't drive, I don't have a license, cringe, I know, right? I'm like, in 22 and I can't drive. But, like, there was a period where, like, Let's say, like, I was lost or, like, I didn't know what to do. Like, sometimes, like, I would go on, like, spontaneous just bus trips. So just hop, hop on a random bus and then see where it takes me, you know? But then, because, like, I'm fairly familiar with, like, our local bus um, system. So, like, I know which bus to take and that type of thing. But, like, just go on the bus, go to, like, another city, eat somewhere, sit in a park for a couple hours, you know? Chill. I think another spontaneous thing was, I guess, the creation of the clips accounts. Um, exclamation clips and chat. Um, because like that was kind of like a spur of the moment decision where like I was kind of thinking about it for a while, but I didn't like commit commit to it, to where, um, 
Like, I didn't, like, plan, plan it out. I was mainly like, I just want to make something and, like, put it out there, you know? I think that was definitely like, the most spontaneous thing concerning, like, content-wise. The decision that I've made. As I said before, like, I have ideas for, like, just chatting shit or, like, actual content content besides gaming. It's just a matter of, like, it's hard to justify, like, spending on money on it when I don't have any form of monetization. Granted, um, streaming, once you're monetized, becomes a business at that point because then you actually have to, like, quantify what your expenses are, what your income can potentially be, if you are considering it to be, like, a job type of thing. So, um, I was gonna say. I forgot, I forgot, I literally forgot what I was gonna say. So that's why, like, I haven't, like I said, I have ideas for just chatting. Because, like, at this point, when I'm, like, I'm doing commentary and streaming, I'm thinking about, like, what the edit will be. In terms of, like, what's good to keep and what's good to cut. Um. See, it's 7th we should probably go home. So, like, my sister and I <laughs> worked on a video yesterday clipping the... Um, dark side boss run and <laughs> it because like it was like a 13 minute clip because it had the four bunny boss fights and then the final mecha fight and I'm not giving her a gold bar that's expensive shit. anyway so we're struggling with trying to clip it down to a minute because like shorts are a minute long on YouTube and then like nothing, anything longer on, than a minute on TikTok just did not pop up. So like we're trying to cut it down to a minute. We're like, no shot, no shot. We can do this. So then we were like, let's cut it down to two. And it, it was fun. It was really fun working on it with her. Because as always, she's so grudgingly doing like, I hate this, I hate this. <laughs> or she's like, I hate you. <laughs> Because it's just like a deflective move to say, like, I hate you when you're upset, right? Which we generally know not being serious about that, right? But it's funny. And the final edit came out pretty good. I'm very happy with it. So that's probably coming out this weekend. Oh, I gotta feed our animals. Oopsie. <laughs> Can't forget about that, dude. Oh, the chicken is so cute. I think that's actually a duckling. Either way, it's cute. Oh, yeah, they're trying to sleep. Rip. Yeah, there's no way to get wood now, which is very unfortunate. I, I failed to think that through. Okay, so let's see what fish we do have. I assume we have everything already. Yeah, we got everything in there. Okay, on to the next day. Nice, up six K, let's go. Yeah, 
Yeah, so since we got the weekly mission, we could just focus on fishing. I was hoping that we could get wood, but there's literally no way to get wood, so rip. So we can just focus on fishing the rest of the week, that we can grab up more money. Man, they ate a lot of hay last night. Sheesh. I think my current favorite <laughs> meme phrases to say is sadded. That's gonna be a good OG favorite. And then sheesh. <laughs> It's annoying, but I love saying it. it's so fun. I kind of want to go lake fishing. Yeah, I just have to remember to harvest those at some point. For the end of the week. Okay, let's get another question. Let's see, what activity do you do where your mind wanders in thoughts the most? Let's see. I know for me, um, for me personally, my mind wanders a lot, so like, as a distraction, quote unquote, like, I always have something playing. Either it be like music or like a podcast. Like right now, I have. Um, I was actually listening to H three H three right now on my headset because I'm I'm like two weeks behind. <laughs> Ever since they started doing like the H three live, because those are like three hour videos. It takes a long ass time to like, not sit and watch through it because like I don't sit and watch them as much anymore. Like, just have like white noise, and I'm also like, at the point where like. Sometimes I'll have like two videos playing, but that's because in order for me to like be distracted enough, I have to have, like, be overstimulated. That I read something about it, I was like, oh, that's why I have to have two things playing. Like, I'll either have like a show on and like I'm scrolling through something else or like listening to two videos at once, which is not a good sign, but you know. Actually, I almost forgot. It's. I have to feed the wood stove today, so in four minutes I gotta go and do that, so ride me, okay? Um. You would think it would be when I'm like bike riding. Oh fuck. Oh, this is. It's probably linkered. I'm concentrating, I'm concentrating. Don't talk. Rip. Um, you would think it'd be when I'm, like, exercising, but when I'm, like, outside, especially when there's, like, nature or, like, foliage and trees, like, I'm always so concentrated on that because I really like looking for, like, intricate details and that type of thing. Like, when we were driving through eastern Washington, I was so fixated on looking at the different, like, leaves and the different, like, tree barks and, like, which side of the tree the moss grew on because, like, I'm so fascinated by just bot botanical stuff. And because of that, because I'm so hyper focused on it, I can't like think of anything else. I think my mind wanders a lot when I'm like laying in bed and just like trying to go to sleep. I know the best way to avoid that and like to go to sleep quicker is. Um, like not use devices or like any screen time like an hour before the way your mind can like calm down but like i just can't do that because anytime it's like i feel like when i was working i felt like that time was valuable right like i was working towards them like i was earning money getting more experience in the workplace and then now that i'm not working and trying to focus on like creating and um, my schooling any time that I'm not, like, working on those two things, I feel like I'm wasting time. Like, I don't like sitting around doing nothing. Like, I have to be, like, consuming something. Because... Especially when... Um, people engaging or, like, watching content is how you support other creators. Like, that's what I spend a majority of my time. Like, I'm watching, like, smaller streamers or, like, browsing through, like, other smaller channels. Or, like, watching bigger people, because, like, that's how you show support, right?
So like when I like turn off all my devices and go to bed, that's when like my mind wanders the most, I guess. But yeah. Got another question. What's the strangest way you met one of your friends? I mean, they're all pretty normal. <laughs> I mean, like, either met their work or school. I think the funniest, like, reconnection story, I would say, is, like, when I was in high school, it was fairly quiet. Like, I was in a group, but, like, I was kind of in, like, the outskirts of the group. So, like, I was kind of, I was, like, in it, but not in it, you know? Like, I was never really invited to, like, hangouts or whatever. So, you know, it's fine. But, like, I think a funny reconnecting story is with at cutie lee um she streams to check her out she's actually funny and pretty anyway um because like i saw because like twitch is kind of niche still it's kind of weird like not everyone knows like about it you know but i saw it because she's from my hometown too like we went to school together and i saw that she also streamed i was like oh that's cool so like <laughs> I followed her IG first, I think, and then her Twitch, because I saw that she's here, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And then, <laughs> when we were first, like, talking again, it was only through Twitch chat. <laughs> like, we never, like, messaged each other much. But it was funny, I'm really glad that we reconnected on that, because, like, Twitch is such a niche thing. But, yeah, I think that's not the strangest way I've met, but I guess reconnected with an old friend. Yeah, after this fish, I absolutely have to go through the wood stove because it's now 11.31. I'm late. I'm late. So, okay, let's pause. Give me, like, one minute. I will be right the back. Yeah, I am back. Back to fishing. Let's get another question queued up. A weird question. Making me question my identity, I guess. But what do you do like to do that's traditionally considered masculine? Oh fucking noted. I feel like as of recent I'm more like femme. Cause like expression like growing on my nails and stuff and like wear my hair down more like just generally like taking better like care of my hygiene i guess the masculine i think like my demeanors in terms of like how i compose myself like i'm not dainty i'm not cute like i'm kind of like i can be abrasive like i'm not mean mind you i'm not mean <laughs> but like I can be gruff too, so I guess that counts. Or like some of like my clothing, I guess, is kind of mask. Um, I think because like my demeanor will change depending on who I'm like talking to or like hanging out with. Oh no, no, no! Come on, I can't lose this fish. But yeah, I think just like my demeanor, personality-wise, like I'm not excessively thin. I'm also like, I think it's really cool how it's kind of normalized to put like your pronouns in your bio or like in your email footnotes. Um, 
That way you don't assume. I'm also like, I go by she, her. I also don't care if I get misgendered. I'm very confident in my own identity. Like, I've never really... I mean, I definitely question it, but I never really, like, questioned it to the point where, like, it was debilitating or, like, really... It took a mental toll on me, right? So, like, I was never in that specific boat, right? But, like, if someone accidentally calls me he, I'm like, I don't care. Like, I don't mind. Like, I'm not gonna get all defensive about it. I mean, I understand why people do get upset. It's mainly because, like, they have their own reasons why. Whether it be trauma or triggers, right? Like, I know for me, like, I remember one time when I was working, it was food service, so, like, it was a very busy day. It was a very busy, um, it was either lunch or dinner -ish. And, like, the customer addressed me by he, and then their, I assume, girlfriend was like, hey, no, that's a girl. And he's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, dude, I'm like, it's fine. Like, I don't care. I'm like, I appreciate you correcting yourself, but it's okay. It happens. I mean, like, so when I worked in food, I'd have my hair in, like, a really tight bun. And, like, I look, I don't look excessively femme facial feature-wise. I could kind of understand if I look more mask, I could be mistaken, but, like, I don't get mad. It takes a lot to, like, get me upset. It also, like, I think it's more so a matter of, like, it takes a lot to, like, get me to express if I'm upset. Like, there's a lot of things that just, like, irks me or, like, takes me off, but, like, I don't say anything. Like, what's the point of escalating or like continuing that argument, right? Like, it's fine to express yourself if it's a negative opinion, but do so in a respectful way. Like, don't be too defensive, don't be too like aggressive about it. Because you also need to understand that people will oppose your opinions, so you need to also respect their contrarian opinion as well. Anyway, <laughs> how we get there from masculine question. What technological advances are you looking to forward to in the future? I think automation is going to be really good. Because it will allow for more like dangerous jobs to be done by machines to where theoretically there'd be less people getting hurt, right? But in turn, I don't think necessarily there will be less jobs. You also need to take into consideration the growth in population, the population rates, right? It's not that there will be less jobs, it's just the job market will change. So like, i.e., there will be less, like, people working, like, lines in the factory, but also there will be more jobs needed to repair those machines that are working the factory line, right? That's very much so why, like, coders and, like, mechanics are going to be in higher demand in probably 20-30 years, just based on the growth of automation. I think it's also interesting to see how like certain machines can do um, surgeries remotely. Like there's that one video where it's like um, one robot like surgically peeled the skin from a grape, which is insane. Like you can get that level of precise detail from a machine or an AI. So I'm excited to that because if it's a machine, right, then it kind of lowers the chance of human error in those type of procedures, hopefully. Which will lead to more healthy patients, more or less deaths, right? That's what I'm honestly really excited for in terms of automation. The only reason why people are so opposed to it is because one, it does it's not really gonna affect the job market to that level. People were saying the same stuff during when like trains were being like installed and stuff. Or like just the general technological revolution and like the um, 1800s, people were bringing out then, but it's like, no shot. It's only gonna make life easier and better. It's gonna make workplaces safer. I think it's also funny how people are so opposed to, like, AI or, like, monitoring of, like, your privacy when, like, people have like, face recognition or, like, thumbprint enabled on their phone. It's like, dude, like, you're such a hypocrite. <laughs> I'm like, I don't ever do any of those. I get so freaked out. I did uh, with my old partner. I remember one time he was like, oh, you can put your thumbprint in my phone. And I was like, okay. Um, Because, like, I'm not the type to, like, look through their phone. Because that's just so, that's so gross to me. Like, if you can't trust their word, then reflect on your own, like, self. Like, if you can't trust them, 
and they're being like open with you like you should trust them enough to like not have to invade their own privacy right not saying that i got bad stuff on my phone but like there's some stuff where it's like you don't need to see it's like you don't need to have access to my bank statements that's not cool you know that type of stuff I also don't like how the idea or the concept of like you need to know everything about your partner or your significant other. It's like you two you two are still separate people. Like you should not be so close to each other where you need to know like literally everything. Like it still weirds me out how like it's normalized to like use the bathroom at the same time as your partner. That's kinda weird to me. Like, yes, you do see them naked, I guess. In other circumstances, but like still, it's like, how about you don't? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to see my partner taking a shit. That's weird. <laughs> and like the Alexa machines, ah, oh, those freak me out. Or like the speech to text, ooh, that's it. It's cool. Like it's really nice how it um allows for more um accessibility to some disabled people or handicapped people but like also like in your household i know like every piece of tech you have that has a microphone is always probably can be like listened to or like can be like infiltrated or hacked but still like the idea of like an alexa irks me to, ex to an extent <laughs> like i wouldn't want one in my home just yet i'm gonna lose it Let's go. Ooh, <laughs> my voice cracked, Sag. I say Sag unironically now, and I hate it. Also, Pog, too. It's kind of funny, but like. It's so cringe. Because, like, my sister, who's not a Twitch head at all, like, she's- she watches some YouTube, but, like, she doesn't watch Twitch stuff as much. Um, she kind of likes us on, like, if I have them on, like, the computer or the TV, she'll, like, watch sometimes. There's one time <laughs> we were, um, editing a video together, and she's like, can we please put something on the TV? One sec. Fuck me, dude. Oh my god, I had headsets in. Oh my god. And I have um vibration, so like I should not get sound notifications, but I just got a fucking loud ass amber alert. Oh my god. Dude, I hate that shit. <clears throat> um sorry, that that was like insanely loud. I've said this before, but like my ears are fairly sensitive, so even if my headsets are on like the lowest volume it's still kind of loud for me. Anyway. So. My sister and I were working on a video together. And she's like, can we please put something on the TV? Because she's also kind of like me. Where she kind of needs like white noise in the background. And I was like, what do you want to watch? She's like, well, we can watch Hassan. I was like, really? I was like, you like him? She's like, I guess. I was like, yes. Yes. <laughs> And, um, he wasn't live at the time, which is surprising because he's live, like, all the time. Um, so, like, we pulled up the YouTube on the TV. And, like, of all the videos that she could choose from, she wanted to watch, like, the, the hog TikTok ones. And I was like, why? <laughs> and she's like, that just looks funny. I was like, yeah, I guess you're right. You're right. But it was cute. It was cute. I was low-key irked because uh, if anyone's in the uh, Asanaki community or whatever, like the Asanox video with the Rock and Pursuers, like the edits in that were like so good. Voiceovers were great. I think it definitely shows the potential in which like an edit could be or like how a clip can be manipulated to like take it to another level, right? And I wanted to show that to her to like show her like this is what you could do in the future. In terms of like video creation or like additive transformative media right 
and she couldn't even get through a minute through. And I was like, dude, just watch it. It's like, you don't even have to know the fandom. Like, just the edit is really good. And she's like, I don't want to watch it. Oh, fine. I got mad. Okay, we're gonna fish until we run out of energy. Mm -hmm. So, probably soon. E. Probably have enough energy for one or two more fish. Let's go. Yep, last line of the day. Nice. Got a lot of fish today. We've got 10 pikes. Good. I'm gonna make bank today. I get that squilly dude up here. Thought earlier. Okay, yeah, I can probably harvest the winter roots now before I forget. I know I will forget. That's the only thing that I kind of don't like about this setup is that it's kind of easy to forget about stuff because it's kind of segmented in different parts. It's so satisfying harvesting the crops. Like just the sounds are nice. I'm just gonna drop off the rest of the roots here because I don't know where else to put them. I gotta make another crate, put it somewhere else. Oh, we can sell the rest. Let's go. Let's actually see what we need to make these. Okay, so not- I thought we'd eat iron bars or whatever, but that's not bad. That's not too bad. Okay, I think we're good for tomorrow. Up 5k, let's go! Okay, so tomorrow's the winter feast. It's gonna be Haley, so we just gotta give her a diamond and she'll be happy. Loves her gems.
I don't remember how much it costs to upgrade the house. But when we go up to... Because I want to fish at the lake today. When we go up to the lake, we can see. Ooh. That's a lot, man. Okay, let's bring our hardwood anyway, just in case. I assume the upgrade's gonna be like 20 or 50k. That is what I believe. I really want to chop those trees, but I know I should save them. You know, just go wait for the doors to open. Mining to see. We got twenty K. We still need to get money for animals, so we should probably focus on fishing still. Oh, it's only <sighs> It's regular wood. Fuck me, dude. That is unfortunate. I would like to start my pawns, but I feel like that can wait until we have- because the pawns is just for, I guess, row, but I can wait for now. And we're probably gonna need the silo, that'd be nice. Okay, stone, clay, copper, gold. So we'll probably save for a silo next. Stone, clay, copper, bars. Stone, clay, copper, bars. We can cut down that tree. We get that tree. It's gonna know the question queued up. What was your opinion on tipping? I thought <laughs> it meant cow tipping. And I was like, that's bad. But it means like tipping like on the check. I think it's good. Um, I think it also, like, I will try and tip whenever I have cash. Because if it's cash, then they don't count for like their deductions or whatever. So if I have cash, I always try and put like a 10 or a 20. Or, like, the largest bill I have in my wallet. Because, like, I know that typically they split the tips amongst either that shift or, like, all the shifts. Like, if there's five people working, I put a ten, everyone gets two bags, right? I don't like when people just put a dollar. It's, like, that's that's cringe. Like, just don't even put something in at that point, right? Um, If I'm, like, dining in, I try and do at least ten percent. It also just depends on if I have money or not, right? And like once I like make bank, once I make mills, I will tip infinite <laughs> amounts. I also told myself once I I don't want to set up donations until I get affiliate because donations to me like it seems like you're asking for money and it to me it's iffy. Um, I'm indifferent about it. I also told myself if I ever do donations, I'm gonna cap it at ten dollars. I do not want to do higher than that 
because if you can drop a hundred on a streamer, you should be investing in something else, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Like, if you can drop a ten, go for it, right? Um, like, I know the- because I was thinking about it, like, the videos, like, on YouTube are like, oh, I go into random streams and I give them hello subs or I donate them lots of money, and it's like, it's just for content. And there's also an issue, like, if people, like, try and, like, charge back their donation. So, like, I'd rather just be, like, a smaller amount to where, like, it's kind of, like, hard to, like, not justify, or it's hard to justify a chargeback, right? I can understand, like, if someone accidentally types in an extra zero and drops a hundred, right? But if it's capped, then that's not an excuse, right? And, like, I kind of want to also do any donations I get, I want to try and, like, withdraw it in cash and just do tip it in the next person. Because... Donations are not, um, that you cannot really project that income, like, it's not consistent, like, for example, if you work 40 hours a week, then you're guaranteed a paycheck that quantifies that total 80 hours of work for those two weeks, but, like, donations is not consistent or reliable income, right? So I don't ever want to rely on monthly expenses just on donations, if I ever get to that point, right? So, like... I'd rather just donate it back, or like tip it to other people. I think it's like tip if you can. I also don't- when I was working at the pizza place for eight, the drivers got paid hourly, and they got tips. And one thing that irked me was whenever they like bitch at the kitchen. I was an insider, right? I worked in the kitchen in the front counter. Whenever they bitch about like not getting tipped enough, when it's like the driver keeps the tip for that specific ticket. So if a customer tips twenty dollars on the ticket, the driver gets to keep all that twenty. It was not split between the house or the other drivers. So if they bitched about like a two dollar tip. I wouldn't say anything, I'd just be like, oh, that sucks, man. But, like, in actuality, it's like, the kitchen gets nothing. Like, nothing. So, like, you should not- you should be grateful for anything you get, because you're getting... Hourly and tips, so it's like, just shut the fuck up, right? I also don't understand how, like, some wages are just tips. I don't- I don't get it. I don't get how that's legal. I don't understand it. I mean, there's- I can probably look into it more, but like, I just don't- It's hard for me to quantify how that's okay to do, I guess. Oh! Oh no. Throw me another sturgeon. Come on. Get. Let's go. Oh, it's a Lincoln. I keep on saying Linker, but it's Lincoln. Oh, we already got that question, Sedge. What's the way you find yourself procrastinating most? Um, homework. <laughs> a lot of the coursework is due on, like, Sundays. Like, I will either wait till Saturday or Sunday to do it. But a lot of the times, the work isn't too time-consuming. Like, it's funny, because they're like, Oh, this project will take six hours, but, like, I can get it done in one. I think it's also taking into consideration, like, I have some background knowledge of how to use, like, certain, like, Adobe programs. I know some basic stuff in all of them. So I can see why it takes, like, a new person who doesn't know anything a couple more hours to, like, do the assignment. But still, it's like... Also, the way I see it, I always, in, like, English class, I really like doing the timed essays. Because when I'm given, like, a specific, like, um, timeline to do something, then I can get it done. Because, like, the way I see, like, 
a lot of my school curriculum is like project based because like you're working on graphic design stuff, mm -hmm. right? So like theoretically, if you work in an office, you're going to be given a time slot to get an assignment done or a project done, right? Like they'll be like, I need a graphic in an hour, go, right? That type of stuff. But that was, that was like the actual workplace. So like whenever I do my homework, I, I kind of picture myself that I'm in that environment. Where like my boss is like, hey, you got two hours what about this project. I'll be like, okay, sir. I shouldn't say sir, but like, okay, boss. <laughs> um, Because just having that mentality kind of forces me to like work faster and more efficiently, right? I'm trying to think of what else. I used to like procrastinate a lot on doing like household chores. Like I'd wait till like the last minute to like do dishes, laundry and stuff. But now I'm trying to be more on top of it because I'm home more. Like when I used to work, I used I had two part time jobs, and then after that, I I quit. I turned in my two weeks notice into one, and then I was working basically another two part times because I was working at two locations at the food service place I worked at. So basically two part times. So like I'd work like sometimes ten to thirteen hour days. So like I'd get home, and like there'd be. None of my chores sense, like dishes or laundry. And it's hard to like find the energy to do household stuff when you're working all day. Like it's it's amazing to me how there's like parents who are like both the parents work and then like one parent will like cook dinner and do like all the household stuff. It's typically like the the woman in the house, which is unfortunate that society still um not anticipates, why would I say anticipate? Accepts that standard. But, shouts out to like my mom who would like come home from work and like make dinner every day. Shout outs. So, like on days when I did work those long ass shifts, like I would just wash up and go to bed. Like I wouldn't eat dinner or anything because like it's so exhausting. Like I'm so glad I don't work now. <laughs> like I'm so much more like mentally happy now i guess like in that it was nice having money but like it was not good hey thank you for the lurk rough fairy <laughs> or fairy hope you're doing well today thank you for coming in now let's get another question queued up oh fuck i fucked up okay let me get this fish first sag i need to stop saying sag i need to absolutely stop but i think it's so funny Okay. Another link card. That was actually easy to catch. What is the most recent fact you learned that surprised you? Let's see. I'm trying to think of the most recent BuzzFeed video I watched. Just kidding, they're dead. <laughs> dead channel. <laughs> um, I can't think of any specific statistic or fact right now. One that, like broke my brain when I first heard it was like when I first learned the fact that octopuses can like regenerate their legs over time granted or like when you like how lizards can like regrow their tails that to me was like insane like little Megan was freaking out because I remember when I was little um we used to go to the library right and check out books for the week and I of course like everyone has an animal phase <laughs> like I was really into animals like we always get like the like the kids ex Ex Exclopedia? Fuck. Is it Encyclopedia. Oh, that's the word. Encyclopedia. Um. But it was so cool. Like, knowing, like, each different... I guess superpower of the animals is really cool to me. Oh, it's cute. The little light by the mines turned on. Let's go. Let's get another question. What's something you never seem to get tired of doing? Um, I'm not gonna say hobbies because like, like people say like gaming or like drawing, but like I cannot do that for more than like two hours a day. Like I gotta like switch between stuff because like 
low-key ADD brain. But, like, one thing that I've always, like, liked doing was, um, I've always liked sorting things. Like, sorting beads or, like, trinkets. Like, we used to go garage selling a lot when I was younger, and, like, there would always be, like, the random bin. And we'd always, like, freak out if we saw, like, a bin that had, like, little gems or, like, beads in it. Because, like, I love sorting beads. Like, anytime my mom... Because she's crafty, too. Anytime she'd like go be chubby, she'd she'd come home and be like, "Oh, here I got this for you," and then I, I would just sort beads for hours. Um, I think just like repetitive actions are really like doing, because then it's kind of predictable. You do the same thing over and over again. It's kind of like stimming at that point. But I have one memory when I was like in elementary. We had indoor recess that day because it was rain. It was pouring. So, like, they brought out all the toys and board games. And there was this one game. It was, like, plastic, like, kegs. Or cogs. <laughs> cogs and, like, pins. That way you can put them together to make little, like, bars or, like, structures or whatever. And <laughs> I remember I was getting so upset because, like, while everyone was, like, building stuff, I was, like, sorting all the pieces into, like, different piles. And I would get, like audibly and visibly upset because like people were like ruining my sorted piles because they were trying to build their toys right but like i just wanted to sort shit <laughs> and when i was little i cried a lot whenever i got upset because that's just how i like handled emotions right so i'm like just bawling sitting on like the gymnasium floor just bawling and the the recess dude is like oh what's wrong i'm like they're they're ruining my piles and <laughs> but yeah, I just like sorting shit, because that's just, like, it's very calming to me, I guess. Like, recently, we've been... 8 o'clock. Um, we've been um, keeping and sorting seeds from, like, the buds. It's not as fun, but it's still, like, nice to do, I guess. Very... Seed sorting is very tedious work. It's extremely tedious work. But it's still, like, really satisfying when, like... Because you know anybody sees from the store, they're in the packet, they're all nice, sorted up. Rarely there's, like, any type of, like, debris in it. Because if you leave any type of, like, foliage or, like, plant debris, like, it might mold over time. But it's so satisfying once you, like, properly sorted all the seeds out, like, perfectly, ready to be put in a potential bag, right, to be sold. But actually not, because we're just hoarding them and keeping them for like, when the apocalypse happens, you know? Probably enough energy for one more fish today after this one. Yeah, this is the last one. Okay, time to go home. Dude, I can't wait for spring. I absolutely cannot wait. Did I check? Yeah, I, I did check the chat today. I did check it earlier. Oh, tomorrow's the festival. <sighs> I was planning on buying animals tomorrow. That sucks. That is very unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna keep the diamond in our inventory because... We're gonna give that to Haley tomorrow at the Winter Festival. I 
kind of want to see if I can... Um... Oh, do you need eight coal? Okay, you need eight coal! That is D-U-M. Dumb. What do I need for... I can make one of those. One of these. One of those. Where's the earth crystals? Oh, right there, right there. Okay, where should I put these? Probably just right here is fine. Okay, so Hmm. We have enough money for now, so probably we can do mining the rest of the week, that we can get more coal. Oh, Santa! Hey. I was talking about trash. I've never gotten anything good from the trash bins, let's be honest. TBH. Also, do you how we can't buy animals today? I'm upset. There's like no fruit here. I thought there'd be more. I mean, it makes sense because like nothing is growing right now. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. I can do both these eggs. Oh, it's the wrong one, huh? I already have one large white egg. Okay, we got our diamond for Haley. We're ready to go. So you can probably fish in the river. Or like the lake area down here by Marnie's place until the festival opens. Just so we're not absolutely wasting our time. Even though the holiday days are like low-key such a big waste of time. We can probably get some hardwood too while we're here. I hate the slimes. I hate them so much. 
The way they jump. I just had deja vu of this exact moment. In this specific deja vu moment, I had in a dream before. Dude, this shit is weird. Deja vu, is it real? I had a joke, but it's ableist, so I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I don't think Marty's gonna be here. Yep, she's not. She's at the freaking festival. Like a good community member. Hey, let's give Haley her present. What are you hoping to find under the spirit tree? Hmm. New watering can would be cool. <laughs> I'll work in a play that's not very fun. Well, I'm not fun. <laughs> yeah, I can give Haley a diamond. Oh, so it's you? Ah, diamond, thanks. All you gotta say, bitch? <laughs> mm. Got a word for you, man. Hey, I'm your secret gift giver this year. Here, open it. Beer. Okay, I don't drink, but you know, that's fine. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Oh, I don't really. <laughs> I've been sober for five years. I moved out here to keep being sober, sir. Okay, I don't really want to talk to anybody else. Oh, there's a shop. Capitalism. Buy shit. That's kind of lame. We don't need anything. Buying decorations is capitalist and we're socialists. We're not doing that. <laughs> okay, let's go. What time is it? Twelve seventeen. So in thirteen minutes, I have to go feed our wood stove. I'm gonna get rid of here. Ooh, 50 energy? Pretty good. Just put that away for now. We don't really need it right now. Okay, so tomorrow I think I want to buy more farm animals. Maybe see if we can get an auto collector from Barney as well. And we can finally start harvesting or milking the cows, rather. He guess what's an albacore? The duckling grew up already. Nice. I was laying eggs too. It's great.
Man, I guess I didn't need anything. Go get our animals. Oh, we can kill some time before Marty opens at nine. plant some more tree seeds here too that way they can just grow and hopefully sprout by the time spring starts go get some hardwood too while we're here oh see what she has ooh you can ferment the honey I did not know that. Oh. Okay, I'll definitely do that once I get honey started then. I had no idea. It must sell for a lot because if she's selling it for 1k. It did. I've never seen the meat in the game. Do we play dead or do we run? Oh, I have the syrup on me, don't I? That smell, come closer. Not every day I get to speak to a human. Looks like you got a little forest magic in you. Now, what about my note? Did you bring the good stuff? Huh, <laughs> that smell, this is really sweet stuff. It's my favorite sauce, it makes me very happy. We had a friend today, Peason. <laughs> Got something special to sh I want to show you. The bear left you with his secret knowledge. Them varies of blackbirds and they're worth three times the gold. Nice. I totally forgot about that side mission. I was gonna say that mission doesn't seem as or that reward doesn't seem as like beneficial but like once you have the foraging to where like all forge items are like the highest like level like the purple star then i bet you can make bank on them yeah, let's go buy some animals
Ooh, autograph is 25k. Okay, that's fine. Can we even buy anything else? 100, 8k, 8k. You can buy a goat. I mean, can't even buy the goats. Got another duck. I think we just gotta save up for the rest. Kiki! Oh my god, that's so cute. Okay. Yeah, so let's fish the rest of the day. That way we can get some money. And then the rest of the week. Oh, I need to get money for seeds. Hmm. We probably just have to fish the rest of this week. Okay, let's queue up a question. What is something that happened to you that you can't logically explain? Nothing really. Like, I don't believe in superstition. I don't believe in, like, conspiracy or whatever. Like, there's always, like, some kind of reason as to why something happened. I've never had, like, any supernatural experience. I've never seen ghosts. Loki, anyone who's seen ghosts are most likely schizophrenic, so like if anyone tells you, like, please be wary of that. Urge them to get evaluated or to get help. Like li literally nothing I can think of. So yeah, nothing. I'm not cool. What do you spend too much time doing? Ooh. I'd say like watching Twitch. <laughs> Because as I said earlier, like, usually I'll just have it on the background, but, like, sometimes I'll just, like, sit and watch a stream. And, like, I feel like I could be doing something else. But granted, what times where I do sit down and watch stuff, it's during, like, my break time. It's, like, time where I'm, like, done with work for the day. Oh, I need to go feed the stove. I will be right back. Doing it three minutes early because we did three minutes late last time. The VRB. I am back. Loki, that blob dance emoji, I love it, but it's so like eye grabbing. Because like I came back to her when I saw it, I was like, oh, what's that? I was like, oh, it's just the emote. Another thing that wastes so much of my time is fucking TikTok. I love and hate TikTok. It's such a good like platform discoverability in terms of like other al the algorithm is insane. Like <laughs> earlier, because like my I have two accounts, one for like, one's my personal account and then the other is my stream account. Exclamation clips in chat will link you to the clips account. Which low-key, I think will do very well. 
Um, the TikTok I posted on Sunday had, um, it, as of like an hour ago, I had like a thousand views and then 40 likes, which is like really good for me. Like low key it popped off, so. Cause like, I'm not gonna do any of like the, oh, come follow my stream. None of that shit. Um, or like the voiceover stuff. Like I probably won't do that content. I talked about it yesterday. Like I'm probably just gonna do like clips. I, I'm also trying something new where I'm doing like go live notification videos. So like hopefully it goes into like some of the feeds of people that follow me. Cause I know sometimes don't either people don't have their Twitch notifications mm -hmm. on. Make sure you have your notifications on, or the notification doesn't work. Cause like I've had notifications like ping me like 20 minutes into where the person's live. It's like what? Like, what is this? Like, what's the point of having a notification if, like, it's not gonna ping on time, right? Um. <clears throat> well, like, TikTok, I used to, like, avoid it completely because, like, it just auto-plays videos, right? So you just keep scrolling and scrolling. Now, <laughs> I spend way too much time on it because before, I used to open it and close it right away. Like, I'd open it just to post and then, like, exit completely. But now, like, I'll browse. I'll stay for, like, 20 minutes and watch videos and it's like, this is not good. Because, like, TikTok content, like, it's not as transformative or, like, edited typically as, like, YouTube content. So, like, to me, it's kind of, like, kind of mid. Like, most content is, like, not good content. Um, but it's, it's, it's not good, but it's consumable, you know? Like, people will watch it, right? But I spend way too much time on TikTok. I need to, like, cut down on it. Ah, I almost had a perfect there, dude. Let's get another question. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you believe is the biggest thing that's currently holding you back from success? I would say anxiety. Because I feel like I could be doing more. But just like having the confidence to like actually execute the project or like go through with a bit or like do the joke. Like, I don't- like, I'm getting there, I'm definitely getting there, but I still have a long ways to go in terms of putting myself out there. A big reason why I started streaming in general was one, because, like, I stream streaming is cool, and I like the idea of having, like, a niche group of people who have, like, similar interests and they like, can chat too, right? Because like, I've said it before, but, like, Twitch streams, like, low-key are just glorified chat rooms, because the stream vibe is solely dependent on the chat. Like, if your chat is trolly, no, wait, I had it back. So, like, if you're trolly, chat will be trolly. If you're, like, wholesome, chat will be wholesome, right? Um, but I know I could do more things to, like, put a Coco viral or get more followers, but, like, I just don't want to do that. Seems too baity. Um, I could be cross-posting more. Like, the only place I really cross-post a significant amount right now would be, like, Twitter... Or TikTok. Because, like, I kind of want to have each platform have, like, a different aspect of what I can do. Like, on my personal TikTok, I have the mini, mini covers, like, singing stuff. On Instagram, I have art stuff, drawing, crafting. And then Twitter is just random stuff. Ramblings, that type of thing. One thing about Twitter I do not like as much is I don't like how... It's not that I don't like it, it's just, like, if people just repost all the time without posting, like, their, like, takes or, like, their content, that to me is, like, so off-putting. It's, like, just, like, post your own stuff. Like, I don't want to be seeing retweets all day. Unless it's, like, related to your content, then it kind of makes sense, but, like, eh. And then Tumblr. I haven't touched Tumblr in months. <laughs> This Tumblr was where I would just like cross post my art. Low key, Tumblr is such an amazing place for like fan art. The fandoms were like the community still active. The fan art is like so good, you know. I think also like having self autonomy. Like if I had a job, I could move out. But then if I had a job, I would have like less time to do stuff. Like I know. If I get another job right now, or if I get a job right now, 
Like, I would not be able to keep up with stuff in terms of, like, homework. Because, like, just, like, social interaction sometimes exhausts me. Like, I have to, like, mentally prepare myself for a day sometimes. And I think when I was working, it was basically the past year, so all of 2020 and then half of this year, I worked too much and I burnt myself on just working, I guess. As I said earlier, like, I'd work 10 to 13 hour days, and when I was working two jobs, I'd have, like, two, like, six hour shifts minimum every day. And that was a lot. I was thinking about it the other day, but, like, the concept of the Disney movie, The Princess Frog? Is that what it's called? I think? But she was, like, Kiana? was working three jobs and like there's a scene where like she has all her different uniforms in the closet and it's like how is that glorified she's like i'm gonna work hard so i can open my restaurant but like how is that like desirable Cause, like the whole movie made it seem like oh all her hard work led to this but actually she was only able to open the restaurant because she married the prince right like i don't is that pro capitalism or not like <laughs> Like, I don't understand how that was, like, a premise for it. Like, that was part of her character, just working hard. I don't know if that's, like... I feel like that was too real for, like, a Disney princess movie, backstory-wise. Like, how is that relatable for, like, a little child? That's probably more relatable to the parents in the audience, am I right? Okay, let's get another question. When was the last memorable sunrise you witnessed? Um, I it wasn't necessarily the sunrise, but when we went to um, Easter Washington to look at the property, because, like, the way the map- Oh my god, it was beautiful, because, like, the mountain and, like, the hillscape- The best way I can phrase it is, like, the hills looked like desert, like, blooms. Like, the way they were, like, built and formed. Like, the way they curved and, like, the waves- and like the ridges and stuff, they look just like desert, like sand plumes. But they were just like covered in trees, and it was beautiful. So like the way our property is, it has it's on like a hill, so it has the hill and then the hillside. So you don't really see the sun, like the sun sun, until like ten o'clock. We got there at eight, and then we were there till like two. But we didn't. It was like just seeing the sun peek up over the hillside was so pretty. At that point, it was, like, like, midday. Like, the sky was blue, right? But, like, seeing, like, just, like, the orange sun against the, like, light blue sky with some haze, because, like, it's kind of high evolution. It was really pretty. I think my favorite time of, like, the day is, like, mm -hmm. a little bit past golden hour, when, like, I call it the cotton candy skies, where you see, like, the kind of, like blue almost indigo kind of purpley skies and then like the kind of wispy pink and kind of like almost corally orange clouds that to me is the prettiest thing mm -hmm. i actually wrote a poem <laughs> called um cotton candy skies i'm not going to share it but like it was kind of about like the good old days of like spending time with your friends like being out kind of late and like seeing the sunset when you know it's time to go home, but like, you don't really want to go home. Mm -hmm. I've thought about like, what I want to post on like, YouTube. But I definitely want to post like, more condensed like, stream clips. Kind of like what Small Ant does, like his type of content, like with voiceover and then voice over over clips. I think that's really good content. But I've also thought about like, doing like, Either, like, poems or, like, verbal monologues. I think that'd be cool. Like, something a bit more artsy. That's, like, future stuff to where, like, I have time to, like, actually, like, plan out shots and stuff. Because right now I want to focus on the Clips account. For now. So I definitely want to build up the stream audience. But that's what I'm working on. As a plan, I guess. Well, 
what we get. Ooh. It's not a good sword. What level sword is my sword? It's probably like a level... I don't know what level. <laughs> yeah, after this one we can go home. Oh, I should have bought more feed too. I don't really need it because I think I have like 100 feed right now. Let's see what our... Level 6 sword? There was an upgrade to like Samsung. And now it'll say verified phone number. But like I'll answer them sometimes and they're still like scam callers. And it's like, dead. what is this? This is D-U-M. Because the other day I was waiting for a phone call, right? Because I was waiting for a phone call from my doctor. And they called back from a different number and it didn't say verified, so I didn't answer it. But then I answered the next call and it was quote unquote a verified number, but it still was a fucking scam call. It was so annoying. I was perturbed. Irked, you may say. You got that auto grabber in there now. Now we just gotta save up for more. Oh fuck, I did not mean to plant it there. Oh well. I need to get more trees planted anyway, so let's go ahead and plant more seeds while we're at it. I just want to get more trees planted at least here. Now I can get more wood. I don't really need to focus on ponds for now because that's kind of like, I don't really need that. Or is there one? There might be one section in the comm center that needs squid ink. But I think I can buy that from like the merchant at some point. Cut these down. Oh, fuck. Oh, we don't get wood. That's dumb. That's D U M. I think I still think it's funny how I yonked the dumb phrase <laughs> from my friend. But it's such a good meme. It's so good. I'm just gonna place these back. I don't need to put it there. I'm gonna put them here for now. That way I'm not wasting space. Let's sell the rest. Actually, let's hold on to that mayonnaise for now, because I'd rather donate a lower quality one to the comm center. It's time for bed. Okay, so right now we just gotta focus on money. That way we can make sure we have enough money for seeds at the start of the season. Okay, Gus wanted an albacore, so let's grab one for him, because I think I want to go pond fishing today.
my god, it's so cute. I think one of my favorite memories when I was like little is in the next town over. There was a feed store and they'd have like chickens and chicks and bunnies at the start of the season in spring. Oh my god, so cute. Let's go! Time for fishing. Ooh. Well, that's actually this week we have more money. Because I was like, we can go buy a rabbit right now. But I should not do that because we need to make sure we have money for seed. So let's wait to buy animals till the season starts. I think that will be best. If Gus is home. Let's go! Oh, that's Linus! Oh, fuck me, dude. I always get Gus and Linus- oh, God damn it. I just wasted an albacore. Oh, now I gotta wait till they're in season to give one to Gus! Gus is the guy in the restaurant. I always mix him up. <laughs> Sad day. Okay, let's keep another question. Um, what or who are you always mail willing to make time for? I think other fellow creatives. Because like as of recent, like I've started watching like smaller creators, and I think it's really important when they're still like growing to like show just like a little bit of encouragement or support. Like even if it's just like liking a post or like retweeting or like commenting or like replying to a tweet. Because like if a new person comes to your page or your account and they see that people are engaging with the creator, then it kind of validates that they're a good creator, right? Like, that's why, like, I always, I will always try to, like, comment or, like, reply or, like, like a post if I'm able to. Like, I will try and lurk or... I will always try to, like, lurk in streams. Um, but chatting, I think, is more important because I know if me as a viewer... And I come into like a new stream and there's chatters, then I I know that the uh, creator is like engaging, right? So like I always try and chat if I'm able to, because I think the best thing about like streaming on Twitch is the chat engagement. It's such a big part of like the culture and the community as a whole. Like, if I see a dead chat, I'm like, it's kind of sus. I think it's also because I started watching bigger streamers first, because so I was, like, kind of accustomed or used to, like, a fast-moving chat. So, like, I will always make time for that. Let's get another question. <laughs> Do you have any secret hobbies? Um, not really. Pretty open about stuff, but I guess the most secret thing is like I like manga. I like webtoons a lot. Like I'll read that in my free time. Mainly because like I really appreciate the different art styles and like the craftsmanship it takes to like create, like formulate a story and render imagery. I really admire that. So it's not a secret. Like, I'm pretty normal. Like, that's a too crazy.
Okay, let's get another question. If you were to be famous for something, what would it be? Hmm. Now the question is, what would it be, not what I want it to be? So... <laughs> I have jokes. They're not good jokes. We're not gonna say those jokes. <laughs> I think something that I want to be known for, not rather be famous for, but want to be like remembered as, is like just being like a supportive like person, I guess. Because like I know I've had like negative interactions or like not so pleasant moments with people, but like I don't want to be member remembered by that. You know what I mean? Like I'd rather leave like a good impression. Or make it feel like I, like, invested time in people. Because I have the kind of personality to where, like, I can easily give, like, my full heart and soul into somebody. But then at the same time, I can easily cut them off. Like, I can easily disconnect and disassociate myself from people. I guess it hurts, but, like, I can easily do that. So, like, just don't piss me off and then you'll be fine. Let's be honest. But... I think I'd like to be known as like a creative too, like a creative person. I think the idea of having like some type of brand or like a product would be really cool. Okay, I'm concentrating right now. Let's go. Let's get another question. If you had to walk away from one technology in your life, what would it be? Fax machines. Fax machines are fucking dumb. I do not like them. Sometimes my dad has me help fax stuff for his work, and I do not get it. I do not understand it. Um, any laptop that was made prior to 2015, they're all shit. The processing speeds are sad. The memory potential is disappointing. Like... So, like, a USB drive can sometimes have more memory than the old dingy-ass laptops. Just throw them away. Or, actually, don't throw them away. You have to properly recycle them because they might explode. Um, USB flash drives that have, like, no memory space. Just throw them away. Why are there so many sturgeons today, man? Let's go. Okay, let's get another question. What recent experience made you feel old? <laughs> Let's see. I think when I was working at the daycare a couple years ago, like working with kids and seeing like what I guess like jokes they had and what trends they had was like not shocking but kind of like eye opening to where like cause at that time I was like 18, 19. Where it's just like, ah, oh, dude. I just feel so disconnected from them, mm -hmm. I guess. Because when you're in late teens, you're closer to like an adult than you are a kid, right? And like, just looking at like, modern like, arithmetic's teaching styles, how like the methods are different, there's like some cloud shit, where like you draw bubbles around the numbers, and it's like, what is that? I don't get it. And like I was only in school like what four years ago? Cause like in the daycare they'd be like, oh help me with my homework. And then it's like I don't understand this at all. <laughs> and like the kids, they're little, so like they don't take good notes. And it's like, well how do you do it? They're like, I don't know. It's like, did you take notes? No. Like, how am I supposed to help you then, man? <laughs> Let's get another question. 
What was the last meltdown you witnessed? Um, okay, not necessarily a meltdown, but I definitely had a few like Karen moments when I worked. I think the one that made me cry was when I was at the pizza place. It was um, wasn't an anti-masker, but he made a big scene about it. So like, I'm in Washington. It's still required to wear a mask. At that time, it was fall 2020. So during like the second peak of like cases right so like whenever anyone comes into the store you have to ask them if they don't have a mask do you have a mask for pretty sure coming let's just protocol this this procedure right so like i asked the guy i'm like do you have a mask for pretty sure cover he immediately starts yelling and i'm like oh shit uh oh starts going off he's like you can't tell me what to do i don't need a mask i don't need to wear one here i'm like oh sir it's state policy you know we gotta follow the rules like we do have masks we can give you one He's like, no, I can't wear one. I'm like, okay. And I was like, if you can't wear one, or, okay. So like, at the time, it's like, if you have a medical condition, you have to state that you have a condition. Like, you can't just say, I can't wear one. And he's like, I don't have one. I can't wear one. I was like, well, okay, we can give you one. He's like, no, I can't wear one. He's like, I have PTSD. I cannot wear one. You're making fun of me. I was like, no, I'm okay. I'm sorry. I was like, you know. I was not aware of your condition. I understand. Just make sure you keep your distance. But please, in the future, um, inform us that you have a condition. Otherwise, we are required to ask if you have a mask or facial covering, right? And he was like, well, I need to talk to your manager and some shit. Because, like, you were disrespecting me. It's like, okay, whatever. Um, but, and, like, after, because he just came to pick up his food. And, like, as he was, like, as I was handing the food to him, he's like, you know, the mask did nothing, you're still gonna die, it's so stupid, you're so dumb, you're gonna die. And it's like, thank you, sir. Cool. And like, I'm moderate slash moderate high risk because I'm asthmatic. So like, just hearing that was like, fun. Like, cool. I don't understand how like... Okay, I should not say that. I don't, like, I can understand if you have like, a respiratory condition to where like, it's difficult to breathe if there's something like, blocking your nose or your mouth, but like, PTSD... It's like, dude, just put a mask on for five minutes. It's... You should be fine. Like, you do not need to, like, go off. I mean, you don't have to traumatize me, right? Like, after that interaction, like, at that point, I, I was already tearing up. And, like, I was doing for encounters. Like, I had to serve other people. And it was difficult because... I'm used to having people yell at me, but, like, having someone tell me that I'm gonna die... Like, just reassuring and, like, vocalizing the insecurities I already had about just working in general, like, exposing myself to people was not fun. And, like, none of my coworkers comforted me. Like, because they, they saw me crying, right? Like, holding back tears, right? But, like, they didn't say anything. That was the day where, like, I decided, like, where I, I knew that, like, no, no one really cared. Like, people can be as nice as they want, pretend to be nice, but, like, no one really checked in to see if I was okay. And that was just sad. Anyway. <laughs> so that was like, not the last meltdown, but definitely the last like, fairly negative reaction I experienced. And, like, I don't understand how people like that think they're in the right. Because, like, if you're escalating the situation, like, if you're choosing to yell, if you're choosing to throw shit or something, like, how are you going to be seen as the good guy, right? Like, who's going to side with you? Only people who would also conduct themselves in that manner, right? Like, I don't get the videos where it's, like, people filming service workers in a way to where like, oh, I owned you, like, like the anti-masker ones where they go purposely to a facility to harass the workers, right? I don't get it. It's like, do you really think, like, the internet's gonna side with you when you post it? Like, the one recent case where, like, the couple went into, like, a shop and then they chose to escalate when, like, the shop owner brought out a baseball bat and then they were, like, they had a, a scuffle. And, like, they filmed the whole interaction. And then they showed 
the video to the cops when they got like approached and like that was just damning evidence that they escalated and then they like made the situation work like they were the aggressors it's like are are people like that just so stupid and like just so like full of themselves that they think they can do anything they want to like they think that they're above the law that's why like it's very scary to see people fall into like rabbit holes of like certain ideologies or like morality especially on like facebook or youtube it's very easy to fall into like far right or extremist mentalities so it's very scary to see because with the rise of that type of content you're just going to see more acts of aggression more violent attacks that type of thing scary that's why like i also don't want to go back to work until like pandemic is over because I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to get assaulted on the job just because someone's having a bad day and they feel like they have the right to harass or assault workers. That's not cool. But yeah, let's find a, a nice question. What's your biggest first world problem? <laughs> um, embarrassing, but like low key. When like. Something is just out of your reach right when you find like the comfy place or like the comfy spot on the couch and you don't want to move. Like you, you eat like you have like the physical ability to move. You have like the access to like luxury items, but like you still feel like it's not worth the effort of the time to like get up from your spot. <laughs> I think also Another, like, problem that is a privilege is, like, troubleshooting technology. Mm -hmm. Because, one, having access to, like, consistent electricity. And also having the privilege to be able to afford certain equipment, that type of thing. Like, sometimes I'm like, oh, fuck this light. Like, this one's dumb. It's stupid. Or, like, this tripod is not good. And it's like, I should be appreciative that I was able to afford those items at the time. Right? Your last catch of the day. Uh, of course, algae. Of course. I want to see if there's anything up here. Oh, okay, just squigglies. No trees yet. That's sad. Okay, time to go home. We got some cheese.
Oh, we have like no bait. Okay, so we're gonna do ocean fishing tomorrow. Oh, ooh, but it's Sunday. Hopefully Willie's there. I know he's off on Saturday, but he's only sometimes there Sundays. Ooh, up 14k. Let's go. Hey. Last day of winter. Cranberry candy. Oh my god, they're so cute. I love the chickens and the ducklings. Yeah, so we'll buy more feed once we go buy more animals at the start of the season. Let's go ocean fishing. Can I make a stone crate. Oh, yeah, I can't. Okay, I'm going to make a stone crate that way I can put the farm goods into it. Get that done. Let's go fishing. Okay, let's get another question queued up. What question have people recently be constantly asking you? Um old am? <laughs> I don't- I don't know. I don't know. I guess, like, a recent question is... Like, just the clips thing? Like, how I did it? I don't know. It's fairly simple. Like, that is a really simple. You just have to import two files, crop them both, and then you're set. But, like, I really like the edits with the clips because, like, they're fairly simple. It's just, like, a segment just cut down and trimmed. But, like, timing is so important. Let's get another question. What do you like best about yourself? Hmm. I think I really like... Because I try and think of, like, out-of-the-box ideas. I like, like, my mental processing. And, like, mentality about things. Because I always try and find, like, an out-of-the-box idea or try something that has been done, that type of thing. I like that aspect. Like, just gaining new perspectives and being able to apply that to projects.
Like, I've always told myself, I'm the idea guy, just not the doer. I make the ideas. <laughs> it's got another question. What do you think is the most useful skill to know? I think being able to... Like, talk to people. In terms of, like, de-escalating or, like, comforting. I've always struggled with, like, knowing what to say. Like, a lot of my responses are trade responses. For example, um, my parents taught me when I was little to whenever you make eye contact with someone, you smile. That way you see more inviting. I'm like, mm -hmm. even now, like, on my bike rides, like, if I pass someone, whether it be, like, a biker or a pedestrian, like, on the trail, like, I always, like, look up, make eye contact, and smile. Very rarely do they smile back. But, you know, because you don't want to start any interaction with any type of negative, um, like, body language. I think another thing that I need to work on is listening. Because I've been quiet and, like, very, like, introverted a lot of my life. And now it's so hard for me not to interject. <laughs> Like, whenever I'm, like, on a phone call with someone, I'm always, like, interrupting, and I feel really bad for it, but, like, I just feel like I want my opinion to be heard more now, I guess. Like, I have the confidence for it. So just learning how to, like, interact with people in a productive manner, I think, is really important. And in turn, like, I'm very <laughs> low-key manipulative, because, like, I know what to say that will like get a reaction or what to say to not get a reaction that type of thing like i'm very careful with how i say things <clears throat> so just knowing how to communicate in an effective manner is very important how long does it take for you to form an opinion about someone mm -hmm. That is a difficult question. I think first impressions are very important because the way I see stuff is if someone isn't going to be nice to you from the get-go when they don't know you, how to expect them to be like truly nice to you when you get to know them? You know? That's why like with new friends, I'm very like, I'll treat you if I'm able to, like I'll get you presents, I don't care. It's like, why should I not give you the same amount of care now as I would then, or in the future? Like, I'm gonna give you as much support if we were friends for a month versus friends for like a year, you know what I mean? Like, I'm very trusting. Like, I'm very trusting, but I'm also like a cynic. Like, as I said earlier, like, I can easily care someone, but I can just as easily cut them off, right? Let's go. Let's get another question. Do you have something that special that picks you up when you're down? What is it? Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think... I have one memory. It was from... I can't remember. It wasn't this year, but it might have been last year where I, like, I drew a picture. It was the day before Thanksgiving. And, like, that specific Thanksgiving wasn't as good. And I remember, like, I was upset in my room. And I remember just, like, laying in my bed and, like, staring at that picture. Because, to me, it kind of validated that, oh, I can do something good. Or, like, I have some type of skill or merit. 
and like that was like a grounding thing for me so it's not necessarily like a specific item so like whenever like i'm having like a down moment i'll like look through a sketchbook and be like oh i did that you know like i made that and i think that's really important for me I mean, these questions are heavier today, man. I'm using a different site. But they're a bit different. Perfecto! What was an experience you didn't think much about at the time, but it ultimately made you a stronger person? Hmm... I gotta think about this one. I think just working in customer service in general. Because it teaches you a lot about like how to treat people. And like also how to work with other people. And I gained a lot of confidence because that specific job you have to like talk, like, have conversations with people every day. And it definitely made me like have better conversational skills, like catch up on more social cues, that type of thing. And I knew I would learn that from that experience working there, but it didn't really kick in until like maybe a year into working with that company to where I was like, this is actually making me a better person in terms of like perspective and like engaging with people. Let's get another question. What's something about you today that old you would have find surprising? Just being online at all. And like, up until the end of senior year of high school, I hated pictures. I hated like taking selfies with people. Like, I refused to take pictures with friends because I was so... Like, the connotation to taking a picture was not good to me because when I was younger, my my mom would like post pictures online all the time. So anytime there was like a happy moment, there'd be a picture. But like anytime there was a bad moment, we don't talk about it, you know? And like a lot of the pictures, they're fake. Like you're just faking that you're happy. Like you're smiling just for the picture. That's why like I really like candid pictures. Like with my... um. With my first partner, any pictures- I didn't take many pictures with them. I don't think I would take any pictures with them. The pictures I have of them are like candid. Like I asked him not to pose. I was like, you know, just sit there. Like you don't gotta smile, just like sit there. And I really treasure those pictures because to me they feel like a lot more genuine. Because like posing for selfies, it's cute. It's honestly really adorable, but like it just feels so... Like, it's not real, you know? And that's that was my stigmatization to pictures up until, like, senior year. And then I kind of, like... Because once I turned 18, I told my mom, like, you cannot pick, post pictures of me anymore. Like, you cannot. I was like, Anna, don't, like, you cannot. You do not have a consent over that for me anymore. Like, she was very, like, indicative about it at first. But then she kind of, like... I guess she kind of understands now, but kind of not really, you know? Um... So, like, younger Mega would never see herself, like, broadcasting live. Or, like, being active on social media. Somewhat active, rather. <laughs> like, I've always liked the idea of, like, posting stuff. It's just I never had the courage to. And it took a while to get there, but I think I'm doing alright. Okay, another question. What part of your body currently doesn't feel 100%? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, uh, my brain? Because I'm fucking dumb? <laughs> does that count as an answer? I'd have to say, like, DBH. I think I have some respiratory issues, like my asthma is barking up again. 
So I have to get that checked out. Also, in turn, like, a couple of my joints, like, my arms or my legs are kind of like... Like, I've been feeling extremely fatigued as of recent. Like, maybe alluding to something else. I have to like, get that checked up as well. But I like the brain answer, because I like calling myself dumb. I think that's funny. Just kidding, we should not make self-deprecating jokes. That's not funny, not funny. I mean, no one's really here, so <laughs> I can say whatever I want. Okay, let's do one more question. Hope is a banger. We already got this one, Sag. Okay, one more. What's something that you think you may have been the only person in the world to ever do? I don't know. Like, I haven't done anything too crazy. Maybe... Never tried weed, even though I'm 22? Does that count? You know? It's so awkward, because like, whenever you go to the doctor, or like, the ER, I've only gone to the ER a couple times, I'm not... I'm fine. But like, um, like they ask you, have you taken any drugs or alcohol recently? And I'm like, no, but like, I'm so nervous. Cause like, I know I haven't, like, I legit know I haven't. Like, I still feel like I'm lying. <laughs> and like, when they do blood tests, they can tell, like they have tests that run that so they can see if you're like under the influence, but I still feel like I'm lying. <laughs> Also, I just noticed that my microphone is dented. Um, <laughs> rip. Because it was a couple weeks ago, I accidentally knocked on my camera because my cord setup is horrible. It's horrible. And I accidentally pulled the cord and it knocked down like half the shit on my table. And so like my camera fell on the ground, my microphone fell on the ground, or the floor, not the ground. And I just noticed that my microphone is dented. That's not very cool. Oh, we got another albacore! Let's give it to Gus on the way home. We lucked out, boys. You know what sounds really good right now? Bubble tea. Sounds really fucking good. I was sad because when I got my booster shot, I was so excited because I'm like, after I get my shot, I can go get like a bubble tea because they have a bubble tea store in the mall. But we didn't have time, so I was like, bummer. <laughs> like, that sucks, dude. Let's go. I think this is the last, yep, last fish of the day. Let's see if she's actually a fish. Let's go. Okay, let's go deliver an albacore to Gus. The real Gus, not Linus. I think it's the us sound at the end that throws me off. Oh, that's in. Well, folks, once again, we're gathered for a very special occasion. A rare visit from a very dear friend. My world famous giant omelette. Zesty bell pepper, juicy tomato, rich mushroom, and tangy cheese. All enrobed in a blanket of rich, fluffy egg. Dig in, folks. We 
Lily, what do you think? The mushrooms are a tad cheerier than last year. Is that a good thing? Aye, lad. It's great, Gus, and it tastes even better because it's on the house. These eggs are so rich and yellow. Marnie, are these from your place? Nope, you can thank Peason over that Tiblin farm. Mmm, Tiblin eggs. I love that. Okay, let's give him the albacore. Okay, time to go home. So for tomorrow, or next time we play, it's gonna be the first day of spring. So We need to make sure we have any adequate seeds and then any fertilizer ready. Okay. Let's go see if we have any spring seeds. We don't. Okay, yeah, so we got sunflowers. Yeah, I thought we had some. Guess not. Okay, that's fine. Totally fine. We had some seeds in the museum. We're gonna have to wait till later to get them, I guess. Okay, let's grab some fertilizer. Okay, let's stop there. Okay, so I think we are ready for Green. Yeah, because we only have 16 cranberries, but we should be fine. I kind of want to move my shed here. Oh, it's closer. We can do that another day. Hey, I think we are good to go. Yeah, we can't really craft any more beehives because we don't have any coal. Yeah, we have like no coal. How much wood do we have? 25. Okay, I think we're ready to go for tomorrow. Or spring, rather. Hey. Up 6k. They want to spring. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pause it here because we will see that next time on stream. Okay, so thank you to anyone who came in today. We had Bro Fairy show up earlier. I appreciate you coming in. 
So I will be back again tomorrow, same time, 11 a.m. PST, either doing like secret single stream with Mario Kart or if we don't feel like it, we're going to do more Stardew Valley. So yeah, I will be back tomorrow and I will see you all then. Hope everyone has a great day. Bye.